Have you seen the recent articles with flashy headlines saying that vitamin D supplements don't work? At first, I ignored them because I assumed that they were flashy headlines, but my newsfeed kept showing them to me, and eventually I got worried and I had a look. I didn't just look at the news articles and their interpretations with flashy headlines. I actually went and looked at the studies themselves. And today, we are going to take a look at one of those studies that led to the flashy headlines and talk about the implications for bone health and for reducing fractures. I'm Sarah, and I'm a 500-hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor and a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I am on a mission to reduce the number of osteoporotic fractures, and I am so glad to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. So let's talk about the recent vitamin D study. There are links to this study that I discuss in the description, and I really encourage you to check it out for yourself. The study is called Supplemental Vitamin D and Incident Fractures in Midlife and Older Adults. This was a collaborative research project with numerous researchers, and I think their research is credible. The study looked at whether or not taking vitamin D3 supplements over a period of five years actually reduces fracture risk. But with every scientific study, it's really important to look at the details and understand what was actually done in the study. In this study, they followed a population of about 26,000 men and women above the age of 50 over a five-year period. They didn't screen for medications, vitamin D deficiency, or bone loss. The study itself says, the trial was not designed to test the effects of vitamin D supplementation in those who are vitamin D deficient. In fact, 95% of the population had healthy bones and good vitamin D levels. Participants were split into two groups, with half receiving an actual vitamin D3 supplement and the other half receiving a placebo. The study was blind and participants didn't know who was receiving a supplement and who wasn't. Results from the study did not find statistically significant differences between the group taking a vitamin D3 supplement and those who were taking the placebo. And this is with regards to having a fracture. So in other words, extra vitamin D doesn't reduce your risk of having a bone fracture if you have healthy bones and good vitamin D levels. Well, duh. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, vitamin D has never been considered as a vitamin that helps to reduce fracture risk directly. Rather, vitamin D is necessary for our bodies to properly absorb calcium. Let me read you a quote from this study that sheds some light on this particular topic. Vitamin D may support skeletal health and improve bone mineralization by increasing intestinal calcium absorption, reducing secondary hyperparathyroidism, and decreasing bone turnover. Furthermore, in bone, vitamin D receptors and extra renal activation of 1,25-dihydroxyvitamin D have been identified and linked to the formation of osteoblast progenitors, which suggests a role in bone formation. So vitamin D is still important for absorbing calcium and forming bone. <laughs> that makes it pretty important. 40% of adults are vitamin D deficient. This is a problem when a person has bone loss because it means that they can't properly absorb the calcium that they consume. But most of the participants of this study did not have vitamin D deficiency or bone loss. So whether or not they took a vitamin D supplement probably didn't make a hill of beans a difference to their bone health or their fracture risk. If you have enough vitamin D stored in your body to function properly, then it isn't necessary to take a supplement. If you're among the 40% of people who are deficient, then supplementing vitamin D may be beneficial in the long run. The best way to find out is actually to have your doctor check your vitamin D level and then you'll know exactly what you need to do. Now here is what I found to be most interesting from the study. 
there were two subgroups of the population that did have a statistically significant reduction in fractures taking vitamin D. Participants who were taking osteoporosis medications and participants with a history of fragility fractures. So while there's greater uncertainty with these results because of the smaller population size, the study suggests that if you have a history of osteoporotic fractures or if you're actively being treated for osteoporosis, then taking a vitamin D supplement does in fact help to reduce fractures. But that isn't a controversial headline, so that's not what's being reported. So should you stop taking vitamin D? Well, if you don't have osteoporosis and your vitamin D levels are good, then there doesn't seem to be much of a benefit and feel free to stop. But if you do happen to have osteoporosis or your vitamin D levels are low, then supplementing vitamin D can help if you aren't getting enough vitamin D from your regular diet. Is vitamin D a miracle medicine for bone health? No, of course not. But for individuals with osteoporosis, supplementing vitamin D can be an important part of a holistic approach of getting the right bone healthy nutrition, practicing safe movement, and exercising in a bone building way. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, please share this video with someone that you know and love. Talk soon.